I am impressed. That's the first one for the season. That is seriously great. Jamie makes it look easy, but he's only inches from death. That is... Very I'm, I am dumbfounded. I've never seen anybody on the boat that's never seen one of these before that picked that up like that. <laughs> Said it looked like a square and it looked that's, like a jellyfish. That's a seriously cool find. Yeah. Look at it move around. The color on those tentacles. Yeah. Amazing. The tentacles will range from purple to fluorescent green. Why would you expect this to be like a normal jellyfish, right? No, nothing else about this animal is you know, except for maybe his gelatinous portion That's is right. the same, huh? Yep. You see, when these guys are in fishing mode, I mean, you yeah, see it, it, it goes from, you know, an animal that's, say, this big with tentacles that are like this when it's when it's swimming, when it goes into fishing mode, you just see the tentacles, seriously, at about that speed, relax. Everything they've got is just turbo. Yep. So even their lifespan. 120 so to 180 days, yep, to wow. over. They'll grow at two or three millimeters a day. So they're living uh, the life of the rock star. Yep. That's amazing. Everything about these guys happens at breakneck pace. How many polyps, potentially, can one jellyfish produce in, in one reproductive session? A uh, female probably sheds half a million to a million eggs. Keep in mind that each one of those eggs can then produce a polyp. Each one of those polyps can asexually reproduce. Right. So it's infinite. A billion, a billion per female, roughly. Yep. And that's one of the things people often say, is, can't we eradicate these things? If you wanted to eradicate them, you'd have to get rid of every single jellyfish because you only need one male and one female and it'll repopulate the whole area all over again. Right. That is a seriously cool and bad animal. See the way he's pulsing? So that area there and here and here is what's referred to as the ropalial niche. These are all his eyes right there. Yep. So there's six eyes here, six here, six here and six here and they're all pointing inwards. Now, not only does it have that, it's, it's one looks up through the head and the other one looks down through the tentacles. So the animal actually has this 360 degree vision so that it can see what it's doing and see what's happening in the water. So they're going in through his so body so he's amplified like us using an underwater lens. Yeah. This is an exciting catch. By far the most venomous animal we've come across. And I saw it first, even without my contacts in. 